Welcome back, West Tennessee. So today I have Lamont here with us, and he is here to talk about a New Year's Eve event. So oh, yeah. tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Well, um, we have the Blues and Soul Ball, and the Blues and Soul Ball, I'm telling you, it's going to be a great rendition to Jackson and West Tennessee. I'm kind of going back in the past and bringing it back up to the future, I would say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, the Blues and Soul Ball basically um, is something that I've been working on a long time. Uh, back in April, I had a blues and laughter event. Oh, you know, okay. I actually brought Joe Torrey to town as Royal as TK Soul. So I said I wanted to do something big for the end of the year. Yeah. And I came up with this concept, Blues and Soul Ball. I love that. Yes. And so tell us a little bit about the entertainment. What does that look okay. like? Okay. Well, actually, uh, like I said, I went back to the past, but I'm in the present as well. And so uh, I have three guys that are represent what we call Southern Soul. Mm. That would be uh, L.J. Eccles, Young Guy, F.P.J. But if I go back to the Mr. Super Wolf days, uh, we got Willie Clayton, Sheila Potts Wright, and Karen Wolf. So I really could have called this Blues versus Southern Soul. Oh. So I got some for the older generation, I got some for the younger generation. So I'm bringing together. Excellent. And what do you hope that this will kind of bring to Jackson? Well, um, like I said earlier, I would like it to bring the days uh, back in the Super Wolf days because actually I used to be a photographer and I used to be, take pictures at his events and I said, you know, that really influenced me. So mm -hmm. I said, hmm, let's see if I can make a 360 and actually be the one turning around throwing the events, kind of picking up where he left off. Because back in those days, I'm telling you, it was the talk of the town. Yeah. and everybody loved going and they had a good time without any violence. Excellent. Yes. And so tell me a little bit about your business. What does ER stand for? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked me that question. <laughs> e stands for my deceased mother. Her name was Eva Cunningham. And Robert stands for, I'm sorry, R stands for Robert, which is Robert Cunningham, my deceased father. So I said to myself, once I get my business together, I want to dedicate it to my parents. But not only am I going to stop here, I'm actually working on the 501c3, and it's going to be called the Eva and Robert Cunningham Foundation. And the three areas I'm going to focus on is education, breast cancer awareness, and lupus. Excellent. That's going to be great. Oh, yeah. And so for New Year's Eve, tell us where they can get the tickets from okay. and what the time frame uh, to come and to view it. Okay. Well, uh, you can get the tickets uh, on Eventbrite or you can simply get on your phone because everybody's on their phone <laughs> now. You can simply say, Google Blues and Soul Ball and it'll pop right up. Uh, I have tickets on there. My VIP is already sold out. It's been sold out for a long time. But I still have general table tickets and I have the balcony. And if anyone wants to reserve their table on the floor, they can simply call me at 901-326-1909. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we're super excited for it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so after the break, Brian 